Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBB Nuts video series on binary search or binary tree interview question series and this video is about boundary traversal of a binary tree or binary search tree. So what is boundary traversal? Boundary meaning if this is your tree then you will print these elements only and then these and these. It will be like from 26 and then 10, 4, 9, 10, 8, 2, 4, 6, 3, 31 and 26. Sorry, 26 will not come again. So intermediate nodes. So you're not going to print these two nodes. So it's like a boundary. And when I encountered this question for the first time, long time ago, I was like, how am I going to do this? Because, and I was so beginner. I just knew a few stuff. And then I saw this and I was like, what traversal I will apply so that it can just give me this boundary thing. And nothing came to me, you know, it was like, no, I was, I, I was blank because I was thinking for a solution, like a single function. I mean, you can still convert the whole thing into a single function, but some single recursion, which will actually give me the boundary. But the answer was not like that. Actually, you will have three different functions to solve this. And you will call these three different functions from one function. And I was thinking I can solve this using one function recursively, but no. So what is this three function like? Yeah. So first you will only go for the left hand side. That's it. You will make the entry or take all these numbers and push into a vector or whatever the list you want to maintain. You'll put into that. You're done. So I said three functions, right? One, two, and three. So one function is done. You will go for left and you're done. Then you will go for this function, which is for the leaf nodes only. Okay. So you will go for the leaf nodes. That's it. You make all these entries into your list and you're done. And exactly this function, this function is little tricky because you have to go from bottom to up in right traversal. So that's why you will end up using three functions to actually get this. And let's quickly see that. And this is your whole class and you have this public API here. We will have this public function boundary, which will return you the vector of the list, which will actually contain all the boundary elements. So see, you will call this boundary function here. And as I told you, right, you will have three functions. These are these functions. First, you will go for the left boundary. Then you will go for the leaf nodes and then you will go for the right boundary. And there is this check here. This is a very special check, which tells that if there is only one element in the tree, then we'll just identify that and we'll return from here only. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and do all these boundary checks because boundary checks doesn't make any sense if there is only one node in the tree. So this is pretty simple. This is your result vector. And initially you will populate with the roots data. So the First element is obviously going to be this 26. After pushing into this 26 into the result, we'll send this roots left. So basically you're calling a left boundary function so that you can get this whole uh, left list with roots left, meaning you're calling with this guy actually. So this is going to be the new root for this leaf boundary function. And let's quickly go to that function. This is the function. We'll check if this root is null pointer or null will just return. Otherwise it is very simple. See if roots left is there, meaning this is your root. Okay. This is your root and it's left is there. Then it makes sense to go to the left. And just before going left, you will make yourself inserted into the result. So this 10 is also into the result. Okay. I'll, I'll just make this entry 26 and then we have 10 here and then you're going back to yourself. I mean, you're calling recursively. You'll go here with this roots left. So now you are here and you'll hit the same things again. You'll make this four entry inside this result and then you'll call yourself again and then you'll reach here. And sorry, I should not write here right now. Yeah, nine. But see if roots left. So currently this is the root. Nine is the root. Roots left exist? No, it doesn't. It will go for roots, right? Does it exist? No, it doesn't. Then this is a leaf node. This won't come inside this 
function call okay this is for this this uh, leaf calls so now you're done you'll go back recursively and you will reach again back here and yeah obviously you're not going to go to this route okay you will not go here and then here no you're not going to do that because that is not there in the stack see you came here just because you was called right and after this there is no call this right call is inside this if condition sorry else condition which will never occur if you already entered into this if okay so it's like you will always return from here and you will not go right hand side if you never hit any right I mean this never happened I mean what could have happened is like maybe you are having this this is how it is then you'll make this entry and you will basically go here and this is also possible maybe two so now this one is also part of your left traversal so you'll make this also into your list okay but not this two because two is a leaf node and we will have this leaf node traversal in the separate function i think you got it let me undo this so then we'll have this leaf node call leaf node see we're passing root meaning we're passing 26 itself and this is the function for leaf leaf node function is quite easy you 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 just have this in order traversal you can have any order traversal like in order pre order post order doesn't matter what matter is before inserting into this result data you have to check whether i am standing at a node which doesn't have left and right if some node doesn't have left and right meaning it is a leaf node and i have to make that node enter in my list so this is pretty simple i explained this video yesterday only like how you traverse in order pre order and post order so it should not be a hard thing and then you will go for this and yeah if you think i'm running so fast don't think like that actually there are so many videos in this list and maybe you are looking at this video so basically it depends like you should start from here and then only you should uh, watch this video until unless you already know all this then only it will make sense otherwise go ahead and start this whole series from the beginning and then you will enjoy like anything so we were talking about this last function which is for right boundary and this is interesting you know because we have to go backwards how you'll go backwards because you have to start from here then how you'll go backwards the key is tail recursion or post order traversal or basically i'll say like a tail recursion because that would make sense because when you are st going to start traversing backwards then only you will start doing that task what you're supposed to do with this node so see we have kept this push in the end when you are done with the right traversal and left traversal why left traversal just because it is possible that you don't have this uh, this link just assume that there is no uh, this link here so you don't have this this and this you just have this left and then this right and then maybe this and then this so maybe this is three and this is again one so and this is not there okay this is not there just assume this is not there so then in that case your last element is this one because this uh, this is a leaf node correct so you will not make this insert into your vector because you already inserted this so you'll insert this you'll insert this insert this this correct so even if it is in the left hand side but it is still in the right boundary because if you look at this tree from this side then this is visible actually so to tackle that situation we have this first you will go right obviously you will hit right 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 and then if right is not possible maybe left and then you will go for right okay so that's why this this right and left both are there and notice this first you will go right only and you'll go right 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 until unless you hit some left and you'll just keep going see this is like it will call itself see it will start from here right we are calling with this roots right so this is the new root i'll just undo this because it is getting so messy yeah so you'll start from here because this is the starting point for this right boundary and see we are going into the right and right and right let's suppose you have maybe thousands of right nodes then you'll keep going without doing anything see we are not doing anything in between this this and this line we're just simply traversing like 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 this and once we are done with the traversing 
how many hops we did, that many stacks would have created, okay? So in the last, when you have this last stack, when you will go back from here to your previous stack, what is left in this? These lines would be left. Then you will do this calculation for that particular stack. And then you'll go back and then you'll do this, these leftover instructions for that stack. And the similarly, this for this one and this one. So then in there, you will make this entry. So this is how you make these entries backward. And see, the rule is roots left and either left or right should exist. Then only it is inserted. Otherwise, that is a leaf node because you may encounter leaf node and you don't have to put that into your list because you already made that entry in this leaf function. So if you will write these functions, these three functions carefully with this very corner case check, you're done. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.